Hello, 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 lovely people. How is everybody today? I'm your host, your friend, your companion, Mr. Tree. As usual, we're playing a game called Ark Survival. I'm just got caught up doing some breeding here, actually. Um, we've got a few Argentavis colors breeding out here uh, for a project I've been working on in the backgrounds for a bit. Someone's pooped over here, so let's crawl all the way over here before they drop the eggs. We've got some nice black ones, some nice blue ones. I've got a nice red one back there with the green feet. Got an orange one. Oop, there's our first baby. It's only level 30, so I'm not going to be too interested in trying to drop this, but if you can. Alright, we'll come over here. Use this to drop in our... Blue and red one here. Nice black one. Just gonna do a quick another egg check here. This guy beside me here is just the uh, extra mail I have, just in case I needed it. Oh, it's because it's a male. Well, we don't need you. Typical trees problem. Right. Always having too many males and not enough females. Well, those guys are breeding now. Uh, I'm also doing raising up that Rex in the last episode that we bred out the beautiful blue and green one I've also got some snow owls over here that we can uh, let me just make this argent this uh, may wing comes in handy when you're doing what I'm doing here never pass up the opportunity to get a may wing my great little parents uh, but as you guys can damn it Yankee All right, now as you guys can see here, we've got some other snow owls. We gotta go through these guys today. And I'm gonna sort through which ones we're gonna keep like this one. And I'm in my, my undies. Uh, because we're gonna be cryopodding all these guys and taking them back to the map we found them on. Uh, that map would be Genesis. Part two. Just want to make sure I have all my high level ones. The rest I'm going to leave down here for spares. Throw away dinos. And just other breeding projects. These are the, what I refer to as the rejects of the group. Nothing wrong with them. They've got beautiful colors. It's just not part of the... Yeah, Design I have in mind. We're also going to take this one because my girlfriend would shoot me in the head if I didn't. Alright. We got a nice school of owls coming with us. Let's go see if we have enough cryopods. If not, we'll have to make some.
I always have cryopods around here. So let's see if we got any extras. We got tons of dinos to play around with. Oh, we gotta bring over a gotcha claws over there too. Alright, gotcha. Okay. Should probably call them by their actual names too. I called gotcha claws because it's Christmas time. Hopefully you guys had a wonderful Easter. over now for most of us in this pop population, so hopefully if you guys celebrated it, you had a wonderful time with family and friends, or just hanging out by yourself. And if it's not over, well then, <laughs> this is for the future people know. <laughs> at that point. Leave that unicorn here. Gonna leave that here. Gonna leave you here for a moment. We're gonna take probably that pink and blue RG with us. That's uh, my very first actual snow owl. These are the R version snow owls over here. I guess it would help if I put all my car parts in my hand, not just one at a time. Be more efficient that way. We'll clean up all these bags after we get all these animals crop up on it. And on the way, here we go. I'll leave it up to you guys. To, if you guys want the Diplo over in Genesis, we are not going to actually be doing videos on Genesis right away. We got a couple of maps to get out of the way first. Yeah, like this one. Uh, I'm just mainly having a base on Genesis because we're going to be doing a lot of uh, loot gathering from there. I think uh, maybe a lot of breeding will happen there. And a lot of the dinos that I kind of prefer are actually from there anyways. It's a little bit easier to find dinos there too. So uh, I usually go up there for all my dino needs. And then bring them back to their respectful islands after. We're going to make some narcotics to go with these guys. Oh, is it only you two? Ooh. Cryopod these two, and I'll throw them in the cryo chamber. It's perfectly fine. We'll use them as uh, clones, or I thought they might be brother and sister kind of group because they both look the same. And I found them both flying together up in Genesis. This is what I've been doing in the background, guys, with a lot of other projects on the way. Setting up bases over on Genesis, operation, so that when we get there, we have a base to spawn into. We'll take this gotcha class, because he's looking kind of cool. Guys, I'm going to invite you guys to like and subscribe and leave a comment down in the comment section down below if you guys are liking this content for any particular reason and would like to see it continue. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, helps the YouTube algorithm and also just makes me feel better. Realistically, it just makes me feel better about myself. It makes me realize that you guys like the shit that you're seeing here. Even though I may not understand why. Or be able to scratch my head around it. 
But hey, I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to give you guys content. And if you guys are enjoying it, who the hell am I to disagree? Take a check of with us. I really like this blue. This blue one will probably be staying here. I know it's under level, but it's okay. It's my good boy. I need a flyer. You do not have a saddle. Do I have an extra saddle? I always have extra saddles. I always make saddles. Why is this very cheap, easy, efficient? And I'm always needing <laughs> Any of these, let me point this out to you guys here. Any of these ones that you see here, majority of these came from Genesis, to be honest, guys. Um, the recipes mainly came from this island, but all the saddles that are pre built mainly came from Genesis here. So we're going to go back to Genesis and I'm going to show you guys what we're doing over there. We have some couple of friends that will be joining us along the journey and along the way. We gotta get our mold. I forgot about our mold. We need the mold. No, wait, we have the narcotics in here, right? Wait a second here. Okay, something's fishy. Where's all my narcotics? Oh, right, I turned the ball That's right. That's why we have so many tranks, Steven. Guys, I want to do the obelisk over here. So, uh, I'm still trying to look up. And, uh, kind of discover what we kind of need for these things. I know we need these things, but I'm not sure where all of them are. And I'm not sure all the other ingredients. I'm keeping all the Archie feet for when we slay Archies. Um, I'm keeping all the uh, things that I find in Genesis that are lying across the ground. I have all the storage been filled with those things. So I think I've got all the parts. I just don't know if they're the right parts that I need. If you know what I'm saying. And I believe with Genesis, uh, we have to do missions. I'm not very good at the missions. I'm gonna give it my good best college try. But I can almost guarantee you I'm not going to succeed in most of them. And most of my money will become talking from the what? The stupid little robot. There's a blue drop over here. Sorry, my color, my eyes are trying to focus on my microwave fan. My, 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 my mic stand. I'm here uh, while I'm trying to play the game. It's kind of annoying. I'm gonna have to uh, fix that. But that's okay. That's my problem, not yours. We got a saddle. Oh, we had more in there. And Smitty. Recipe. I'm pretty sure we don't need the Smitty recipe. I'm pretty sure we're good for that. Unless it's got more damage or something. Do more. Looks like it's cheaper resources. I might take it. We'll compare it with the ones in Genesis and see what we got. I get those recipes all the damn time, so I usually just toss them away. That's why most of the time you don't see them. I haven't had really any good loot. Granted, I also don't know what good loot would be classified as in this game. I don't pay attention to any of that, so haven't really had anything that I feel like I should show you guys any time soon. But we're going to go over to Genesis real quick and we'll fix that right up. We're going to have to wait for those eggs to hatch. So by the time we put these guys back into the obelisk, the eggs should be hatched up and ready to be born. So we'll go back and fly back to the base and collect those guys real quick right after this. 
I don't know if we're gonna take all these snow owls. I was just sorting them out. So we'll probably end up putting them all back into the obelisk. controller got stuck there. Um, or not the obelisk, sorry, the cryopop chambers. And then work on them again when I come back uh, in Genesis because I'm doing something special for our American and Canadian friends who are watching this channel uh, for your Canadian Day and American Day uh, performances for your respectful days. I don't know if I'm going to have it done in time, guys, so I don't want to say anything too much other than that. But keep your eye out for those videos. You'll see me working on them from time to time in the videos that I'm currently posting. Like the one for Alright, we can make some more cryopods, but I don't think we're actually going to need some right away, so we'll just stick all of this equipment into here for the time being. and fly back home. This is part of the video I would say that I would be cheating and using fly or godburn to speed it up a little bit, but I think we're going to enjoy the scenery. I don't usually just take my time passing through these places, so let's just do that right, real quick. Let's see what we can find. We've got a tech parry down here. Beautiful. Oh, what level? 19. Not good enough, Tech Perry. And also, come on, guys. That's just the funnest thing to do. Sweep over a dino, pick them up with an RNG, and then kill them in the sky. You can also eat them. If you're fast enough. I'm just not fast enough with my button presses right now. Yeah, I find the island beautiful, but some weak ass dinos over here. All my level 200s are thankfully given to me by Genesis. Man. My Therizino collection in my previous episodes and videos. I've been from Genesis. You guys all seen how I do, do most of those things. We ain't gonna get into much details. If you want to see those, I believe all those videos are still posted up on the channel. Feel free to go take a look at them. They have nothing to do with this series, but they're still cool little videos to watch. They're not very good quality or very good in general. I apologize. But, again, not all my videos are really that great to begin with, so to apologize entirely for all that. The Sergeant Davis is screaming out because it needs to take a break. Probably not, but... We have four of those trikes in that exact coloration. And I have one currently still sitting in the obelisk. That's for Genesis map, or another map. Sorry, I forgot the torch at home, guys.
Oh, we got another drop here. Might as well go for it. I'm a loot trash panda. I'll grab any loot that I can find. Even though I don't know if it's good or not. You guys can let me know. Um, if there's a simple way of telling if it's like blue being the best, pink being the best, or whatever. Uh, in the colorations, what colorations is the best and which one I should be looking for? Because I absolutely have no idea, guys. I believe I can look that up on or on the wiki. Uh, but I've never done that. We got some clothes that we can put on, finally. Uh, maybe I'll look it up tonight after a bit, after this video. I'll look it up on YouTube. And I will have that information for me and for anybody new who is looking for that same information in the next episode. Um, with links just explaining where I found it, guys. I'm the person that likes to give credit where credit is due, and where is Herbivore Island? Right there. And with that kind of thing, that's where credit we should be given. To the rifle people that know what the hell they're talking about, not to some fucking wannabe little bitch who just came onto YouTube a few months ago and thinks that he's top dog. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, you know what I'm saying? I don't know that information, and I don't want people thinking that I do, so that's why most of my videos I comment or say it in the video. I try to post it in the links below so you guys can go back and look at it yourself. Um, sometimes I forget if I do, just send me a message on Twitter or on the community tab on here and let me know because like I said sometimes I'm horrible memory and other times I have a great memory. it all just depends on the day I guess only thing you'll hear is you nope we got a diplo and this guy to put away this aloe or Enki or Yankee as I like to call them uh, I actually found on Herbivore Island here, right where we're standing. Came over and destroyed half my base. Actually, I can show you what he did too. <laughs> it was over here. It was the reason why I put in these behemoth uh, gates, if you guys remember. So that uh, a Yankee destroyed my base. But that's why I put in this wood here. Completely destroyed up over all that. All those metal pieces right there were completely fucked. Uh, the only place that didn't get hit was here. And uh, here, where I was standing. I was standing over right here, and I watched as half my base got annihilated with all my materials and stuff. So I decided metal flooring must be a mass tab not to underestimate it uh, I was working on building some stuff I've pretty much cleaned out this place I'm pretty much done with this base uh, as far as I'm concerned uh, I'm gonna be looking for a base probably closer to the obelisks uh, and a little, a little more dangerous personality uh, when I leave here, I'll probably tear down this entire base and that one. Uh, so the dinos can respawn here and the stuff can respawn so we can come back to it. That will probably be a few days before I can get that all torn down and moved. But we have to find the new base location first, guys. We got another drop here, 100%. We've got a blueprint for metal ceilings and a blue saddle for blueprint on saddle armor is 33 i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing i don't know what the original would be 
Uh, so, I'm actually kind of curious. Are we still in God mode? Hopefully we are, because if this this is gonna end badly, if not. But at least we spawn right beside it. Okay, that answers that question. Stupid stunts, get you killed. Now, my all-time favorite way to exit this base is actually using these guys. Aim for the open door. And I shot us in the wrong direction. Okay, not the best at aiming. Let's try this again. Rex's ass and fire it right out. There we go. Success. Oh. <laughs> the RG's fat. <coughs> I'm spazzing in there because I died. Ah, to show off this RG, I guess. Oh, we wait for those eggs. Take her up to the roof. Him up. Or her up to the roof here, because she deserves a good showing. As you guys can see, she's got blue and black. I'm hopefully turning the black into white and the blue into red. Either uh, orange or yellow. And she's got that little awful green spot on top of her head. But hey, we don't judge. Everybody's got a booger head someday. But overall, I like her color, so I'm hoping to get more of her coloration specifically. There are a couple of other projects that I'm working on. I know, a lot of projects. Oh my goodness, we got a couple eggs. Okay, so we need to empty out these other cryopods. Oh, no, we don't. We have two. No, because we might have three or four. I'm just going to stick them in here for now. I'll sort this guy. chamber out in a minute. This is actually supposed to be for the children that we need to upgrade a little lot. But this guy I'm looking to get into his adult form, but I don't have his proper food. I did in Genesis, but I must have lost it. Okay, our first baby RG, guys. And it is... <laughs> Imprinted. Yes. One oh two. Huh? And that. I want to see if the mailing can pick up an RG. Can hold the T Rex in its saddle. Why not an RG? There we go. I answers that question. Love these May Wings. I just put what the babies need to survive inside of them. And then I get my Archie to pick them up. Not my Archie. My May Wing to pick them up. Carry them around. I uh, can imprint, imprint them in there. I have to release them once they get to their adult stages. But hey, not that bad. Not that bad. We got another one right here. We'll take a look at that one in a few minutes. Okay, now I lose a bunch of babies. They're not paying attention. Let's see if there's any stuff right here. I lost one baby actually right here by my giant. 
Subs. Feet. Suck balls. I didn't notice it was there until it was too late. And I was walking out the door the one day to end a video, and I was like, oh, crap. We have a baby here. But it's something. Okay, makes sense. We only bred two arches, we only get two eggs. Two eggs for one dino each. And there you guys go. So it looks like we got the green hair, black body, and then the blackish body. So that means. These two prep. And then the other one. So these two, so the baby takes more of his stats and stuff. Okay, dokie. Uh, how are you doing for food? No, you're not getting kibble. A, because I don't have it made, and B, I'm too lazy to get food. Simple kiddo kibble is pretty easy to make. All you need is a couple dodo eggs. Uh, a few things of watering drugs, depending on how much kibble you need. Um. Just give me a second here, guys. I'm going to see if we have any resources. Maybe we might be able to make some simple kibble. Well, we're going to need those water instincts, that's for sure. And keep in mind, guys, this is all crafted in your cook pot. I believe you can do the same in the industrial cook pots. I don't have one. Well, I have one, I just don't have it set up. So, I wouldn't really know that for sure. But, I wouldn't assume why not. It is a recipe, after all. Simple kill. Simple kibbles, archy eggs, prime beef jerky, some lemons, one piece of sap, two rare mushrooms, five pieces of fiber with one skin put into your cook pot. We do not have that. We have the eggs, we have the sap, we have the beef jerky, we have the mushrooms. We don't have the lemon. So unfortunately, my friend, you don't get your beef food. You don't get your simple kibble. Why couldn't you just ask for something different? Now, once you have those ingredients, you take them over to your cup pot here. Throw your ingredients inside with your water, and bada boom, bada bang, bada boom, boom, boom. Turns it all into what you need. But we don't have what we need. Because you suck. I didn't realize that we were still looking for vegetables. Oh well. Let's go see if we can find that industrial. Alright, we don't have any room in the obelisk, anyways. Yeah, I can get rid of some of that stuff that's in there. We don't need everything that's in there, good. Are you guys? You guys can let me know in the comment section down below what you think is the most useful item for Genesis. I would have to say trink arrows, um, cryopods, uh, trink darts. This comes from Genesis, by the way, guys. This entire line here. Um, some narcotics, depending on what dino you're going for. I know, it's so organized. I can't believe it. Um, and a net gun. 
I don't know what the, the game actually calls those, so... Apologize. Those are all the skins of all the dinos that I've collected so far. That we've released. Where's my ammunition? See, knew I didn't need more hide. Ah, there it is. Industrial cooker. All right, I forgot. We need to put on our armor again. Sorry, guys. Walking around here naked. Gonna start keeping those uh, to remind myself of every fucking time I've died. When they can be recovered, that is. I'm gonna use fly mode here to, uh... There we go. I was gonna say these stupid cryopods aren't working. I think we just put down a foundation. Okay, we'll take these two with us. Lock everybody else inside of there. Ow! Chompy little bastard. Okay, fly. There you go. Heat up. Because I use it so often. Should we wait for this drop? Promises to be good. I've discovered that. There's usually valuable loots in with these little uh, circled things. Take the saddle recipe. I don't think we need any more of that other crap. Oh, it's not even dropped yet. Okay, well, we don't have the time to wait. Well, we do have the time to wait, but I'm impatient, so.
Now, is there any way I could put my stone back in there? Yes, I can. Okay, that's all full. Oh, just to show you guys here, I don't usually get a lot of bees from these hives over here, but sometimes if you're careful, and I mean be very, very careful, the swamp is just on the other side of this ridge here, you guys will notice a beehive here. Now, I haven't been able to get any bees from them, it's also a bunch in the redwoods. I usually just steal one of the green obelisks, honey, and then I fly my butt back to the base. Honey is really good if you're dying of hunger, or you just really want honey. I really like honey. Honey is good, so I'm stealing as much of it as I can find. my honey. Do you want my honey? Sounds like it's raining up here. In my home area. Hopefully you guys are having nice sunny days. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Um, and hopefully your dreams are coming true with your day-to-day -day lives. I think... Oh, no, I'm not going to wait for the rest. Let's take. Oh, it's my body. Alright, let me dispose of this guy real quick. Into the ocean with you, Mr. Tree. You're the... You're the tree that didn't mean need to happen. Give me one second here, guys. I've never dragged a body all the way to the sea using fly mode. This is going to take a long time. Why am I dropping into the sea? Because I know there's piranhas and fishies that want to eat my bum. And I'm just going to give them that opportunity. I'm fishing. We're fishing in art, guys. We're fishing with a corpse. Hey, but it's still fishing. I don't want to be in the water. I'm not on God mode. A little bit farther, and then we can drop the literal dead weight that we're carrying. Come on, Mr. Dead Tree. Get me some good fishies. We need to eat some food tonight. There we go. I gave him a proper burial. Oh, let's see. He can go into Davy Jones's locker for all eternity. If any of you history buffs are out there, or nerds of uh, Johnny Depp, you'll like that reference there. Girlfriend's a hit, uh, nerd of Johnny Depp, and I'm a history person, so. Now we're going back to Genesis here, because I got a couple of things I want to show you guys here. Now, 
keep in mind, this is all my snow owls, most of my high-level Argentavises, and pretty much any dino you've seen me use so far. All the cool colorations have come from this beautiful, wide-open expanse of a map. Before you want to do this, you want to look at the kind of, you want to force tame it or tame it naturally, it depends on you. Then you want to hit those three lines. You want to hit on the X box, X and Y, I believe it's RT and LT or it's RB, the other two on the top there. You want to get this screen up. You want to hit fly. You want to type in God. Why for God mode? Because you're about to see why in just a second. Then you want to type in after both of those commands are in, you want to type in fly or ghost. Sorry, I was trying to do that with one hand. Okay, now I'm ghosted. I can slide into here. Slide into your mom's DMs, you know what I'm saying, boys? Anyways, and we're gonna go ride our dino, but you'll notice, Tree, how do you get it out of here? You can't get out. Your god mode is gone. Your ghost mode is gone. So we come back to this cheat code box, and we type in the Adman can cheat. Ghost, and we ghost it through the wall. Now this works for right through the center of the island as I find out. I swear to God, if you do not stay on this spot again, I will have to tripod you and go the obvious Now how to get it off ghost mode? Well, some YouTubers say that you should type in ghost mode again. Other YouTubers say that you should type in ghost mode at all. We can do that. It's not really a very dangerous type of ghost mode. You guys do not use it. We are not a liability. You can break the game, or you can do damage to the system. Back in the day, my friend and I used to use it like this all the time and fucked up thousands and thousands of dollars worth of equipment. So, I encourage that you use extreme caution levels. 
not to mention in-game it can have consequences for you by losing your shit, all your dinos, and make you have to restart your game. I've had to delete my file several times because of god mode, or cheats like this, where I have gone in to save bronchosauruses and other things like that, shut off the game, came back into it a couple hours later, and found that I was... I've lost everything. So, to get them to land, while you're on your dino, you will be perfectly safe, you will be perfectly fine. We type in walk, and the dino will fall. It will hit the ground, just like a normal dino should. Now, once we get off of here, we will fall. So we're going to go to fly. As soon as you get off your dino, you want to hit fly. So you face through the map. I'm going to put this guy into the obelisk. Just to see if that changes anything. As you can see, I have other dinos in there. They're all unique colors. Whoa, crap. As you guys can see, this is why we use fly. Now, to show you what would happen if I just went to walk. Sometimes this has happened, sometimes this hasn't, but let's see if we can get it to work this time. Sometimes I get stuck like this, and the only way I can move is actually using a jetpack on Genesis to move. As you guys can see, it acts like I'm stuck on water, or a rideable mount. And other times, I space right through the map, falling to my doom. Usually, in the case of me doing There we go. See? Now I'm gonna let this fall for a few minutes. You can see the entire map. Ooh, pretty, right? Yeah. Scary, too. Now, if I didn't know my commands, be stuck like this I would delete delete the game and I probably would come back and be still stuck in here how you defeat this is you type in our good old friend fly the cheat that I use second to force taming you look up to where you just fell and you come back in like that so pretty straightforward don't use this command Unless you have to, and even then, be extremely careful. Now, how do you take this off? Well, you're supposed to be able to go again. And now, I shouldn't be able to go through solid objects, but I still am. So, what I do, I hit my home button, I hit the home, I Exit out of the game. I'm losing any progress I've just made. And I sign back in. Okay, for minutes, guys, I'm going to be back right back into the game for our exit. I will say. Nine times out of ten, this usually works. The one percent chance that it doesn't work, you actually have to delete your game to reset it. Now that can mean that you delete the file that you're currently playing on, or you delete the entire game entirely. When this doesn't work, I've had to delete the entire game. So, that my system is glitched or my game has deleted itself. That's the reason why. Just thought I would show you guys that so that you guys can understand why I say Ghost is not the command for anybody to be using unless you're a game developer or interested in just seeing what's behind the scenes that you don't get to see very often. When I first found out about that command, I went insane. 
it's five degrees up here in the area I'm at with a rainstorm. So if you're up in my area, connect to the woods, be careful when you're walking around out there, guys. It's going to be a wet one. There we go. See, we're back here. Frank doesn't want to be there. Start to turn around behind me. I'm pretty sure it's back in the wall, and it's back in the wall. Now, what I could have done is just wait until the game save, but then there would have been a good chance that I would have stuck in the or stuck on the So, I'm not too. So, we're not going to worry about that guy. I'll have him killed off here in a couple moments. But, you guys now know, this ghost mode. Seeing the dangers of it and the benefits of driving it. You guys decide how you use that power. But keep in mind, like I always tell all my friends, with great power comes great responsibility. Use it wisely. Don't take advantage of it. Do big developers might actually scratch their closer. So it's right out of here. And then Fun with them. Come on, man. I'm only using them just out fun. That's why I refuse to use ghost mode because it's not really fun when your game's glitching and you can't walk on solid objects. So we'll clean up the rest of our obelisk here to finish up this video. And we'll put down the industrial. This is where I will be making most of the kibble. Most of the episodes from here on in will actually be taking place in Genesis. Um, until we get the brute mom, which I've been getting kind of distracted with trying to attempt. I apologize. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to build an army for her. I've been told that the furry, um, the furry guys that I have are the perfect opportunity to go for. So I've been looking for a couple high levels of them so I can breed them out. All I've found is that one that's um, on the island of Kuwaitu, which I got it on the Lost Islands, I believe. I got killed multiple times by a green archer. I thought I kidnapped the green archer, but I guess I didn't. That's not the problem. Alright. So, I made this cryopod and this cryopod over on the island before I started the episode. Still not sure how to get rid of these massive boards. So we're just gonna have to do There's also one more test I want to do with this guy. And if this trick works, then all you guys will have to do is do what I've done here. If not, then all you guys will have to learn about it. It doesn't work, and I would almost specify this kid, that guy, that is dead, and he's killed on him. So he answers, unless you want to call it a psychotic, and you want to go down to the or dying. Or, if you want to keep it alive, just to say, have a cool one, come on. Come on. Tech guys, let's go in there. Very cool one. And as far as I understand, as long as I have the game, you can stay in the game, but if I didn't pay more money, he would despawn. So I'm going to wait look for his hitbox here. Oh, 
sicko mode. We saved him from the wall, guys. Trial pod chamber to the rescue, my friend. Now, I did actually force him, guys. I thought he was a pretty cool looking color. I'd only saw the tip, so. This is one of the first times I'm actually going to be able to keep him. So, I'm going to call him Wall. Do that before we exit and use the again. Bronco squad over here, which is where we're going to be breeding these guys, by the way. I like the colorations I find here. I like the levels. And my Broncos are my favorite. Man. Okay, well, not really the entire time. It up. Except for uh, if you used a code called Give Ingrams, which gives you all the Ingram points and makes you absolutely every recipe in the game. If you just want to craft, guys, that's the recipe I would recommend for you to do. Uh, and it's one of the one strategies that I haven't shown off here. Got a gravestone. That's not a good sign. The game gave me a grave gravestone. Does that mean I'm gonna die? There's a nice red bronco right down there, my friends. Beautiful creature. As you guys can see, this is one of my favorite maps of the entire series. One of them, because I say that because where you get the crystal wyvern is actually my all-time favorite. I really like that map. I just don't like playing it because I don't want to destroy the natural beauty. So there's going to be a couple maps on here where we're not actually going to be building a base on, guys. Uh, why? Like I said, I don't want to destroy the natural beauty. And we are going to drop. Okay. Might as well drop off this stuff. This is what I'm going to here. And I just like myself to see what doing. This is also one of the only places I know you can get wings. They're actually in the comments if I'm wrong. So I would also love to know where you can also find the wings. But I like this map because you can get pet here before you run into water. I'm a loot panda. I see a drop, I gotta go for it. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you can get drops from all over the map. I'm gonna check on the wiki tonight. Uh, 
after this video goes live, and I will mention it in the next comment. Video. But what I find, um, but I believe that the color of the sky actually depends on the drops you're getting. At least that's what it seems. I see more of these purple drops closer to me when the sky looks like that. But when it's raining, I get a lot of green drops. Now, I don't know if that's just coincidental. It could just be me wanting to see something that's not there. You know what I'm saying? Brain is a finical bitch after all. No disrespect to any females out there. Um, but uh, the mind likes to play tricks on the human eyes, so I don't know if it's just me principle about the purple jobs when it's clear out, or it's just me not paying attention at all. I don't go for the purple jobs when. Now, I did notice, guys, that we got some food for the cool guys that I have in the outer base. So we'll have to go back to the island and pick them up as well. Let's do... Let's do 11 or 12 dinos. I don't know how many of them. Wait. For this Diplo. Either you fuck off Mr. Diplo or I'm gonna have to stay. spit-dwelling little bastards. has a hatred just for me. We've got a beautiful, almost level 30 mewing here, multicolored. I would love to make more of her. And I died from this stupid Bronco. Oh no, you're kidding me, right? Okay. See what you're gonna be like today, Ark. I don't care. This video is still going out, Ark. One way or another, I will get this video done. Ark and I have a love hate relationship. I love the game. It hates me. There's another purple drop back down there behind that mountain. But I need to get over here and get my shit. That's a nice purple one there. Just 
Strider, I think they're called. Wow, how embarrassing. I died just then. <laughs> Like I was saying, a beautiful multicolored Maywing here. Death of time, team. Do you mind, Bronco? You already killed me once. What level are you? Oh, no. We'll have to deal with you in a second, Mr. Bronco. Because that, yeah, that betrayal cannot happen. You cannot kill me while we're making a video, my friend. Ooh. Uh, sex. This one is a green mammoth, which will be making a recovery once I can figure out how to make a goddamn battle. Bronco, you better watch yourself. This Rexy and I are gonna come kick your ass. Launch your base. I, you can do that, actually. It's gonna take more than this, but it might. I'll know after the first feeding. My problem is everything on this map looks the same. I have a couple of females. Our beautiful red male Rex here. Wait, is it a male? How did I say it's a male? Is it a male? Female. Alright. Well, you better come back, because I don't want to wreck you. Also found here on the beautiful map called Genesis Part 2, my friends. We'll take this mosh top because he's going to get into a fist fight with that goddamn Bronco as soon as I pull out my goddamn T-Rex. Send out their own Diplo captain. Oh, it, it did stay in the obelisk, so I think we actually made a clone of them, then, guys. I just accidentally showed you guys how to kill any dinosaurs. Cool. I'll have to see if I can re redo that, actually. If I can clone the dinos without having to breed them, would you guys be interested in that? Let me know in the comment section down below. I know it takes kind of away from the whole persona of the game, but would you guys be interested in seeing how that would be done? Now with these guys, we got a couple of boring colors. Red and brown. And a brown and brown. This Bronco needs to die. Because it's all bloody, and it's okay. Actually, we're gonna up and put that away.
Haha, <laughs> Bronco, that's what you get, motherfucker. You get annihilated. Alright. Took my revenge back out on the Bronco. Oh, we got another 210 female that I was gambling with. Oh god, I shouldn't gamble with these dinos. We need this for the Rex army I'm trying to build for the Overseer. I don't know what it is, but I'm assuming it can't stand up against a Rex and a Giga, Giga army. Giga army is coming out uh, as soon as I can find some Gigas, actually. So, if you guys are interested in that, keep an eye out for some Gigas while we're flying over the map on over here. Uh, we're looking for a good level Giga. I believe max level for us is 150. Uh, I believe that's only for non-tamed dinos. Uh, I think someone in the comment section can correct me if I'm wrong. But there's some beautiful color for you guys, and we're gonna fly these guys back to base, put these guys back in the obelisk or the cow fridge. And I think that might be where we go. Or we do go out. I'm gonna do the loop down here in the cock boats. I don't know about you guys, I'm just gonna have a kind of play in the house. This one I'm just using as a time. What? I'm hoping to have it so. Shadows are built here, armor is built here, and ammunition is built here. This one. Not super far. 30 seconds. And it's, uh, over there in that little cubby I see what I think is a drop until I get up close enough and then it's Giga just or a Rex just standing there waiting for me and biting my face off okay I'm not using this Stego by any means I just want to see if it's the same one it's a tech Stego You wait here, mister. I'm pretty sure that we just cloned this guy. down here too so it looks like I cloned the a dino accidentally oops well we've got a back up to the green one so I guess we can throw him away we'll just keep him in the obelisk for safety because why not he doesn't need food and I don't need to pay attention to him god moding this guys I apologize we're just going for some loot I won't affect any dinos lives or tame them in here if they try to bite my ass though I'm killing them. Oh, wait. We gotta get rid of these dinos. Now, if I am gonna do any taming, I'll have to use the drinks that I have at my disposal, which are good in my opinion. I just made a clone of you, buddy. Everything kind of matches, though. So. 
I'm assuming it's uh, but if you guys want, you guys can want to go down the comment section. You guys see me do that. I didn't pack that one into the game. I don't know this game. Or it's getting filler. second, I just need to get closer to the screen here. Thank you. 
I'm going to see where that clutch went to. Right there. Alright, chase plans. We're not going for boots. I'm going to show you guys how to take on a quetzal on single player. I'm going to follow him all the way down. Oh, there's a nice little Bronco right there willing to give us some prime when we're done. I want to shoot at the head, but there's a Bronco right there. Knowing my shot, I'll probably hit the Bronco instead. It's also a great risk for me to shoot this right here. But I'll probably still hit the Bronco no matter what. Well, I was just stuck on the tree. Nope. Where do you think you're going, Mr. Quetzal? I'm not done with you. You trank whore. Oh, Mr. Quetzal. I like the challenge. just gonna keep flying into the atmosphere. Wow, that thing went high. Oh, now it's falling. I think the Quetzal's just as shocked as I am. Sorry to whoever that lands on. Watch out below! Alright, back to the Quetzal. Now, oh, there it is. I was gonna say the damn bird was just waiting for me to be distracted. Great strategy. I'm gonna only attempt this one more time with the stupid Quetzal. If we can't get it after this, then I'm just gonna go loot grabbing. Quetzals are boring ass weight creatures. Crap, Steven, why'd you shoot before you could? Oh, 
Okay, he's falling faster than I can shoot. I'm a coming, Quetzal. Don't you worry. Shoot you on the way down. Aha! Start the process all the way down. Did a hit? Did you die? Are you dead? I wasted shots. Nope. Wasted. That's all. I didn't want your birdie ass anyways. We'll get another one. I'm taking down a lot of them. Out there. It just takes forever. I usually chase them around the map for a good hour and a half before I get them knocked out. I know I could build traps and all that stuff, guys. Trap these dinos in, but I love the part of the hunt. If they can get an escape. And keep giving me misery and pain as they go. Well, you know, it's got a game more fun and way more entertaining for you guys to look at rather than me just sitting around a trap waiting for a dino to wake up. You guys pick. I have way too many dinos to begin with, anyways. So, do you want me to add to my collection by building traps, or rather, watch me just struggle at trying to tame them? I'm only using primitive weapons. Oh! Can you wait, Mr. Rexy? No? Stupid dinos. Oh, okay, maybe you can. Sorry. Behind me, you can see that I'm kind of in a rush. Now, there's a dino I'm interested in taming that has a cocaine addiction that lives down on these beaches somewhere. I'm gonna look it up tonight and give you guys a proper answer on exact locations that you can find it. It is a very great spawn, and you might find a couple of Vigas Rexes. Rex or something else to kind of clean up the map in that spawn spot, but I guarantee you if you wait, you probably will get it. Now, I don't know how long that video is going to take for me to make, so I'll get it up when I get it up. Okay, guys. 
said I was going to. Nice play. Come on. They're crap bad players. They're just as bad as the devils. Kill on sight. Hey, you're kind of cool color. Except for you're completely useless. Where's it going? Should I drop over there? Did you check that drop over here? Yeah, I think we did. This one's with the, uh, which we didn't drop something. Right? I guess we're gonna find out. Yep, that's what it's been. Okay. With my trick, you can use it for that too. Okay, this one over here in the corner. I think that might be the one I was aiming for, but I didn't want to say anything. Or I was just running in this direction because I'm an idiot. And this is my safety zone. To the worst. I'm like a quetzal. Yeah, attack me. I'm running directly to death. Right into the worst area as possible. Why? I don't know. Take all my survival strategy from the quetzal. <laughs> and I've also found that if you run into danger, I don't seem to try to stay away from you. Okay, up here we you want to be careful of there is Zenos, my friends. There is Zenos. The same one, same little bastards you see on the island are in here. They've got an R or an X variant over here. They actually look kinda of not that bad. I'm to take one. Food for when you pass out. 
Yeah, you're inevitably gonna pass out. It's just who's gonna give up the rest of it. That trek over there. You know what? No, actually, you're a good friend. I love it when dinner comes in here. This and stuff. I, mean, I know what level trek is. I don't know what level is, my friend. I need food for the Rex and you.
kind of debate if I want to keep this Rex or not. Hey buddy, this is, comes with a heavy heart. Unusual for me not to have something that I could beat off through the Rex. Oh well, sacrifice my own tame for a better one. I can do that. We need this UD anyways for a Rex army. And I've also heard that it actually has a secret ability, so curious to test it out. And it's not like I'm going to the snow region anytime soon to actually get it. Guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna pause this game. I'm gonna be right back in just a second. All right, guys. All right, I'm back now. Put this Rex tame up. The only reason why I did that was so that if anybody comes to drive by their butts, I can actually defend because I'm actually here. Ah, uh, that will be the last duty. I think I need to force ten, actually. Yeah, so I believe it, this one's a female. All that we have to do is find a male. And we will do that now, actually. That will be a complete video where I take this UD out. And, uh... Oh, he did have a carnal pack with him. Or it was a raptor squad, one of the two. a nice doe deck up here. Keep moving backwards while shooting at the doe dicks and you will tame it up in no time. Aim for the head because everywhere else will take less damage. If you're trying to kill it off, good luck. Takes a while. <laughs> All right, I don't feel like the meat that we put in here is good enough for. Okay, up. What? I'll keep looking. Get some prime meat here. There's got to be tons of prime meat around here somewhere. The Union's Raptor Squad couldn't have gone through this entire area. 
Well, there's always a fair Xeno up here willing to bite my ass. Maybe because I took down a Rax, maybe they're all scared. Shit. I got a long bow and I'm not afraid to use it. I got a bow and arrow and I'm not afraid to use it. Check to see. I think this is just maybe a plant, but look like a mosh top from way over there. So, okay, I guess we're gonna see what happens with this Rex. If I have to kill him off, then I have to kill him off, one way or another. I'm happy with whatever we got, which was this guy. I don't have a saddle for it, so I'm gonna keep it in the trial pods because. We're on God mode and we can just fly away if we need to. Absolutely no point in my mind to use a dino we don't need to use. I'm gonna pick a fight for this guy. I'm using metal ammunition for this, guys. He thinks he's smart. Son of a get your butt out of my face, man. Not so smart when you have open wounds like that, my friend. It looks like we're getting neat, chitin, and hide from the little gaffer. Alright, here we go. Gotta go back down to the racks. Hopefully it's still fucking alive. Chitin from the scorpion, we need to keep as much chitin as we possibly can, guys. But I'm not going to do that yet, because, in all fairness, we need those tools too, hey. Um, in all fairness, I don't have the guy out yet uh, that needs the chitin, so. I'll either spawn in a bunch, or I'll come hunt specifically uh, for this type of dinos. A raptor. Got a paint recipe. Okay. Oh. Say hello to our robot friend. Who once was a real person? But she just ascended. For the final time. Pretty cool. We're gonna go up on this ledge over here. Why just in case someone tries to come eat our dino? I can defend. Right here. So we can see the dino. Oh, no, all of its beautiful glory. Well, that's actually kind of different than I thought it would be. It's black and white. Looks almost like it has a skeleton shell. I guess we could have gotten the same effect from over there. This one gives us access to the top. All those who rule underneath. No, just kidding. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go here, here. Oh, 
Oh, okay, that's actually not that bad of a distance. Haha, <laughs> it's right here. Oh, this is a direwolf. Oh, no, that's a pink there. I'm just gonna force tame this Tharo, guys. Don't mind me, I'm taking this guy away from you guys. I have another Theral we can put, breed him with. Not very good rock. have a puppy that looks like that. This is my new favorite puppy. <laughs> Why? This is pink. It's got pink on it. Come on, you're still not teamed up? I just bought a whole pack of what? Dire Wolves and Raptors, and you're still napping? You still napping, boy? Man, get your ass up. We could be using your little cracker ass help. She's not that bad. 227. I have a blue one. Kind of matches the coloration that you see there in Crossfire. That we could probably put her with, actually. So this is our version Dire Wolf. 
Which in a pack will absolutely shred that dino down there. I've seen these guys flying over over top of the place. Uh, I've seen these guys destroy woolly mammoths with single pack. I've seen these guys destroy rexes with single pack. We don't have any mold, so we won't be able to tame these guys. Watch out for the stinger on the back. One more, but I can pretty much guarantee you I can snipe it with a bow and arrow. Give me enough arrows and I can kill a horse. Right there. What weaker too. Holy shit. No, nah, it's 217. I don't remember what the last one is. I didn't look at its level, but it seemed to be weaker in the defense department. My favorite question. You stupid dog, you got in the way! Okay. Can we sneak you back into the obelisk without being caught? Let's find out. I already lost the Therizino, which is arguably better ride than this. This dire the dire wolves guys don't need saddles uh, when you tame them. They are ready to saddle up or be ridden as soon as you're ready to go with them. Right, there we go. You're free now, Diplo. It's good. A color for level. Doesn't have the pizzazz I'm looking for, you know what I'm saying? You, Mr. Rexy, are giving me a harder time than what is necessarily entitled. Love using these ones, they're better than the crossbows. Better than the bows. I feel like this bow is the best bow. Other than the tech bow, which I had the last time I was on this map. But then someone over there had to kill me and caused me to lose it all. Not pointing any figures at any generation of dino at all. Mr. Rexy. Ah, that's a cool sound too. I guess now that I hear that. It's the same sound and everything. Okay, never mind. All right, guys, I'm going to wait here beside this goddamn Rex until it goddamn heals up. I'm going to have some coffee and just have a quick bowl. Smoke it if you got it. Drink it if you don't. Always do whatever you choose to do. Responsibly, though, my friends. I may be a stoner. I may be a drunk. I may be an alcoholic. 
but I will never do anything stupid while doing them. Okay, that's a complete lie. I won't do anything deathifying, other than what I do at home. But do as I say, not as I do. And you shall survive, my friends. I swear to God, coffee makes the world go around, guys. Without it, I don't think I could... Without coffee, I don't think I could deal with half of the people in this world. Like and subscribe if you feel the same way. Or if you're a parent and you drink coffee. Could you actually deal with your significant other, loved one, or spouse? If you didn't have your drink of choice. For my girlfriend, I guarantee that would probably be a no. She'd probably want to shoot me in the face. <laughs> Hell, I'm pretty sure she wants to shoot me in the face anyways. She's going to be watching this video when it goes live and so hi, how are you? Managed to sneak your way into every video I've done so far. <laughs> Anyways. But I'm looking to hear from you guys. What is your favorite drink of choice? And what do you th think, if you didn't have it, could people still cope with you? Would your friends and family say this agree with you on that one? Mine wouldn't. I could say that you could cope with me without coffee, but my friends would look at you and say, no, you give him coffee or else you go insane. So, you can listen to me or you can listen to my friends. It's completely up to you. Either way, I would have to agree with them at some point. I have a little bit of a caffeine addiction that I have to feed, and if I don't, I go completely bonkers. And my day is completely off. I know this was taming this video was supposed to be collecting resources from Genesis, but we went and tamed Detroit Rex. I don't know why I keep trying to want to call it Rit I have no idea why I keep trying to call this Rex a trike. It's a Rex. A trike is smaller by 30 feet. Well, I guess it's a foot technically, because yeah, about that. I'm not a biologist or a much of a book learner myself, uh, so you guys can correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section down below. I always love to improve my skills, always love to learn new things, hey, and if I'm proven wrong, I'm one of the type of people that like to be pointed out. This Rex is going to be taming up here very, very, very soon. Then we have to sit around and wait for its health to heal up, because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be dangerous in some way. But come on guys, if you had the choice to have a Rex as a pet, would you take it? I seriously would. Seriously. I would love this as a pet. If I could have this in reality right now, right this bloody second, I would jump at that opportunity. Mainly so I could just feed off the people I don't like to it, but It'd be the world's coolest pet in the world. Honestly, if I was to be able to choose one of these dinos out of here for my favorite pet, it would have to probably be the dire wolves. I'm a big dog fan, and the wolves are part of the dog gene, right? So, for me, it would have to be the dogs. Probably for my girlfriend, it would probably be the Therizinos, I'm pretty sure. But she can leave her answer down in the comment section down below. And I invite the rest of you also to share what animal you think would be cool from the prehistoric animal days to have as a pet. <laughs> Style points for anybody that chooses the most dangerous animal. Writing rights for anybody that's ever actually worked with one. Now, I'm not talking about dinos, I'm not one. Bragging rights and props to whoever uh, has actually worked with a dangerous animal in their lifetime.
takes a lot of courage and skills. A lot of skills and courage that me and my friends don't have. We're animal people over here, but... We also like to stay alive, too, so... I used to have a job working at a friend's... Uh, mom's business. Working with some... Tigers and lions patents. I'd go in there with her and make sure all the lions and tigers pens were cleaned out. Used to do that on uh, when your child's career day. My family didn't really do much for those. And I wasn't really raised with my family, so my friend's mom took me in, raised me as her own, and would take me on those things. It's one of my most favorite adventures of my life. Uh, I also remember going to Marineland as a kid. If you guys remember Marineland. I remember going there. I remember seeing my very first killer whale there, actually. And I remember also being very disappointed as a kid about the beluga whales on TV. Because I grew up watching the TV uh, commercials for Marine Land and being like, oh, that would be so cool to see Mer in life like that. And then I get there and they're all beaten up. And now that I'm older, I realize, yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's a problem with animals in captivity. They like to beat each other up for entertainment. Uh, but back then, my brain didn't realize that, and I kind of blamed them for it. So I kind of get hatred but love for them. I've also been told by some people that I know now that they've been shut down for animal abuse. So, up here in Canada, up here in my region. Uh, maybe not in your region, but up here in my region they have. Yeah, kind of sad. Don't like to see an animal be abused. But I completely understand. I was always curious why a whale bends its fin over uh, when it's depressed. And Marie Wayne gave me the answer. Or at least gave me enough courage to find an answer. Uh, if you guys are curious, I might put that into another episode. Uh, but the simple answer is it could be sick, could be depressed, could be homesick, depressed, uh, not feeling well. Could be a lot of things actually. Like apparently it could be the water quality that you're keeping it in too. I didn't even knew that. Those are just some of the highlights of the information I had about that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little tidbit. Knowing with Steven or Tree. I want to pull out a segment on these things. So it's called uh, Growing with Tree. Where you guys or I who managed to find some cool stories or interesting topics, we can uh, share those topics with the rest of the community. Because I'll be interested and really interested in hearing all you guys' cool stories about that kind of stuff. we got to hurry the hell up, Trike, man. I'm dying of thirst. I'm going to be dying of thirst here soon. There's no water near us, is there? check on the other side of this mountain because I believe there's a waterfall over here somewhere. Actually not that far away from this one. Come on, some sort. Yeah, right there. Okay, Jack, I'll be right back. Or Rex, I'll be right back. Oh, and it's got a guy shirt too, guys. We could have gone down there for a prime meet. If only I thought about it. Yeah, there's no point in me going to get prime meat now. He's about tamed up. I'm doing this to show you guys that I do know how to tame most of these dinos, it's just I'm too lazy to.
is a bear eater. Someone's telling me it's lunchtime. I can't wait. The strike video is taking up a lot of the time. I'm taking longer than I expected it to. Oh, look at that. It's all tamed up. What a beautiful bastard it is. Okay, so tape down at 168. She's kind of beautiful. All right, let's take him back to the obelisk. Take back our cooked meat. it right around this hill here we'll end the base I guess end this video in the exact same spot that we started it back at the base so I think that will work perfectly Beautiful bastard in here. So I can transport him over there safely and soundly. And not have to worry about dinos eating his face. Good day, survivor. There is no way that deer would have been running for no reason. I need to know. Is there a raptor? Let's go see what we can find for dire wolves then.
Transportation back home. I was trying to get the blue and the pink. What? They got dying, so. Let's see what we can do when we're walking down. I'm always in the mood for a diplo. Not that kind of color. That woolly mammoth, guys. I'll come back and get it. Diplo, around level 55, now you know where to go get it. It's up this way. We're just going to explore a little bit before we head back down to the base. Oh, there's a, a woolen mammoth with some pink tusks. And a red body. Ooh, he's only level 15 though. Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We got some beautiful parasaurs down here. Yes, come for me. Are they down, brother? Nice green dire wolf. I don't think I'm gonna risk him. So we'll just fly him back to the base. 
<laughs> Careful when using this while writing it, Diane. <coughs> In the very rare chance that I go too fast, <coughs> sometimes I kill off my dino. So that's why a lot of the time you guys see me stop, take a break. I guess we're going to check out this loot drop since it's right there. <laughs> I oh okay uh, so that's 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 what happens when you get off your dino and get back on it when it's on fly mode I think saw so one more drop we can take we're gonna use Walk. I'm still glitched moving on. Oh, You'll see that guy next on an island. We'll get this last drop, and then we'll head home, go over what we've done today. You know what? We'll talk for some fun. It's right here. This is probably the only time you guys will ever get me to tame one of these guys, because I don't think we're going to actually be able to tame the levels. As you can see. But I like doing this with them. And then I just ride them around until they blow up.
sounds completely fucked up in the water. Alright, let's take this strider. We'll pick up this drop since <clears throat> we're done with the massive annoyances. Now, if I end up not killing this guy off, I'll show you guys a couple tricks you guys can do. With these guys, each one you tame or it's gonna have some different ability. But this trick is pretty much the same. It is a giant obelisk. That walks, moves, gathers your resources, or she slays us out of space. because I'm lazy and I don't want to have to wait here for 30 minutes while he walks. This would make two of them. I technically have I have one in the obelisk still. Uh, but technically you do need two of them to do this trick. You need one set up somewhere else on the map. One set up here. I usually island map. Or not just the island map. Uh, if I'm on Scorch I'll have one over there beside my base. Or I'll have one. Basically wherever I am. Those are useful. I don't know how to feed them. I don't know how to feed them or not. I can't find really much of them. Maybe that's what this guy. Robot. 
So if I had another one somewhere else on the base, I could put this in here. Access it. That makes these things so useful. Make sure you turn it on. I find turn it off. I don't know if you can read those. I don't think so. But I'll set up the other one off camera and we'll bring it back and show you guys. But that's all the time I have for us today, guys. My cats are starting to act here. I'm getting kind of affected, so I'm going to go get some food. Thank you for all being here. I appreciate every single one of you bloody bombs. Uh, but I do appreciate everybody's support here. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, let me know. Like and subscribe if you guys like this content. Any particular reason whatsoever. Uh, or if you're enjoying the series for whatever reason. Let me know what your favorite parts are in the comment sections down below. Um, and let me know what ones you didn't play necessarily. That's good information too, guys. Uh, so, it's not always just about what you like, but sometimes what you don't like too. Anyways, I've been your host, your friend, your companion, Mr. Tree. I almost forgot, I have one more joke for you guys before we go. What do you call a fish that has no ears? I'll give you a couple of seconds to think that one over. The answer to that joke is a fish. I know it sounds dumb, it's stupid, it's great, it's amazing. It's so dumb. But anyways, I've been your host, friend, and companion, Mr. Tree. We've tamed the Perex. We forced tamed a bunch of other critters. We saved and figured out how to clone these guys. Uh, we got another one in the omelets. We've shown you how to use a straighter. Next step will be to tame one legit. We've got a family of Broncos over there. One of my parasaurs. To everyone else you see on the map. From my family to yours. We want to thank you for chopping by and watching this beautiful content that we're creating for you. Beautiful, beautiful people. And until the next time, I've been your host, your friend, your companion, Mr. Tree. This has been Art Survival on Genesis Part 2. I'll catch you all in the next one. See you later, crocodiles. <laughs>